Welcome. Our learning objective for this quest is locating important information from digital sources using text features. The purpose for being able to use text features to locate information in digital sources is to make it much easier to find the information you're looking for. It's such a great skill to have and one that you'll use again and again. The reading strategy we'll be using to help us with our objective is previewing. Previewing refers to reviewing titles, section headings, and photo captions to get a sense of what the structure and content of a reading selection is. So, in other words, we preview to try to catch a quick glimpse about what's going on in the text. Let's review what text features are and go over some examples. The text feature that's easy to recognize is the title. Title tells the reader the main idea of the text. Subtitles, which are not seen here, are also an example of a text feature which generally follow the title and provide a bit more detail about the topic. A text feature that divides the text into sections and explains the main idea of those particular sections are known as headings or subheadings. One of the easiest text features to find are photos and illustrations. This text feature really helps a reader visualize the information. Captions are connected to photos or illustrations and their job is to explain what's going on in the picture. Now that we've gone over examples of text features, let's get started by previewing this article and taking a look at the text features to see where they're located. The first thing I noticed here was a caption describing the photograph. It's hard not to miss this photograph. The caption underneath it reads, Nabisco asked several inventors to build Oreo splitting machines in honor of the cookie's 100th birthday. I also noticed the title. I can tell it's the title because it's the biggest text on the page, which tells me the author wants to make sure it's seen. The title of this article is The World's First Oreo Splitter. This particular article also has a subtitle. I remember that subtitles usually provide a more accurate or in-depth explanation of the topic of the text. The subtitle of this article says, A physicist builds a machine that separates the cookies from the cream. Here I've highlighted two headings that I found. One of these headings reads, cookie or cream, and the other, a big birthday. These headings provide me with more information about what the text will discuss in those particular paragraphs following each heading. Okay, let's practice locating information quickly using the text features in this article that we found. I'll start with a question. What is this article about? Well, I think that question has an easy answer. It's about Oreos and an invention used to split them, right? But how do I know that? Well, let me point out a few things. First of all, the title in this story is a big clue. It doesn't really leave me guessing as to what I'm going to read about. Also, the giant picture of an Oreo with the caption helps you make an informed guess about the article's content. Let's try this question. How long has Nabisco been making treats? Where in the article do you think might be the best place to look first to find the information quickly? Hmm, which text feature should I use to help me? What about the title? No, that just describes what the article is about. Let's look at these headings though. Cookie or cream and a big birthday. If I'm answering the question about how long Nabisco has been making treats, I'm going to bet that I find that information under the heading, A Big Birthday. Those words make me think that this part of the text could talk about how long Nabisco has been a company. I'll go straight to this section to see if I can find the answer to my question. Oh look, I started reading the text after the heading, A Big Birthday, and found this information right away. Oreos turn 100 this week. Using those text features sure make finding that information a lot easier and quick. Okay, let's preview a new text. What text features do you see in this digital or online article? Right away, I notice the title, and I also see that this online article has a subtitle. Additionally, I see that this article has two photographs, both of which include a caption. So after previewing this article, I see that the topic is about bees and caffeine. Hmm, interesting. 
these text features have actually made me very interested in the contents of this article. Now that we've previewed the text, let's practice locating information. Based on the small snapshot of the article, where might you look to quickly find information about what the link is between caffeine and bees? I would first think to look at the subtitle because that usually provides a more in-depth explanation of what the article is about. This subtitle reads, a new study finds that caffeine can help improve the memory of honeybees. Hmm, now I'm wondering how the honeybees get caffeine. When I think of caffeine, I think of beverages like coffee and soda, and I know bees don't drink either of those. Well, I noticed that this article has two pictures of bees drinking nectar from flowers. Let's look at the first caption to see if it provides any more information. Caffeine in certain flowers helps improve a honeybee's memory, researchers say. Oh, I see. So certain types of flowers contain caffeine, and when the bees drink the nectar, that's how it gets into their system. And this study is saying that caffeine helps their memory. Wow, that's pretty fascinating. Just by previewing these text features, I've learned so much about what the article is about before I've even read it. Not only do these particular text features provide me with more information, but they're also making me really interested in the topic. Now let's take a look at the second photo caption to see if it gives us any more insight or information about the article. It says, bees can get caffeine from citrus plants. This bee is visiting a lemon blossom. Wow, again! I know a little more about how bees obtain caffeine, and I haven't even read the article. Do you see how easy and quick it was to locate that information using text features? I have to say, this is definitely an important reading strategy and one that you'll use all the time, anytime you research a new topic online. Okay, let's review what we've learned so far. When reading a non-fictional text, we need to remember to preview the text to look for text features in the article to get an idea about what we're going to read. And we use those text features to help us locate information quickly. Good readers use this strategy because it can save a lot of time when researching a new topic or answering questions about something you've read. I hope you enjoyed learning how to locate important information from digital sources using text features.